Hey guys, it's Jenna over at the Long Island Alzheimer's and Dementia Center. Um, I do in respite and today I feel like it's only fitting to do baseball themed word games. Um, you know, this time of the year, you know, usually baseball is going, it's playing. So figured I'd bring baseball to you. Um, Sorry, Yankee fans or any other fan. I am a Mets fan, so wearing Mets colors. Um, America's pastime. I feel like it's only fitting that we do baseball. So I'm going to wait until more people come in uh, and we'll get started. Uh, get your thinking caps on, you know, get some stretches going, get warmed up. We're ready to play today. We'll wait for more people to come in. And again... Uh, we're doing word games, word challenges, uh, memory memory games, and uh, all related to baseball. So this will be fun. And again, if you're not watching live, you could always pause it and then play it when you have the answers. So the speed is up to you. Um, again, we'll wait. And we'll uh, wait for more people to come in. And again, if I don't get all of your comments and you feel like you're typing and you're you're not being heard, it's probably because the comments are lagging a little bit. And um, but just don't let that affect. Just keep typing away, keep commenting, and there they will come. They will when I rewatch. When other people rewatch, it'll. Uh, it'll be seen so don't be afraid to comment even if I'm not responding to it um, it will download I'm sure after uh, the fact so again I'm Jenna um, I do in respite at the Long Island Alzheimer's and Dementia Center and today we're gonna do word games that the themed baseball so we'll start off now just you know when people come in then they'll just join us so uh, Again, American pastime, I think it's a good uh, theme for today on this gloomy day because even if baseball was present, it would be canceled. Um, so how many innings are in a baseball game? Uh, in the major leagues, how many? Because I know Little League is different. So does anybody know how many innings are played in a baseball game? We have nine. Nine innings are played unless there's a tie. And if there's a tie, then you go to extra innings. Sometimes they go for a very long time in extra innings. Um, I'm sure everybody has a story to share that when they were there at a game and they were there all night. Um, free baseball. <laughs> all right. Um, how many players play on the field at the same time. So when you go onto the field, how many players are playing on the field at one time in baseball? Does anybody know? Nine! Nine players play on the field at one time. So, in games, um, fortunately we get free things sometimes. And a lot of times there's a player, and I have an example right here. There's a player that is usually one of the big name players, and it's a person. And we get them at the door. And usually their head sways a little bit. What is this called? What is this free little prize that we get when we go to games? As if baseball wasn't enough, we get free little, what is this called, where their head bobbles. <laughs> what is that called? I need to definitely dust this. 
has not been touched in very long. Um, what do we call this free game? Free uh, give out? <laughs> the head bobbles. What is this called? You also get free t-shirt Fridays and you get all these cool stuff like that. Uh, but again, does anybody know what this is called? Where the player's head bobbles? A bobblehead! Exactly, a bobblehead. I want to collect them all, but my shelves tell me no. Okay, so this is a crossover between baseball and the softball question. So right here I have a baseball in a box. By the way, Tom Glavin, I got that myself in 2006, but not to brag. Anyway, what is the difference between a baseball and a softball? What is the difference besides this being in a box? What is the difference? Does anybody have any differences between this yellow large ball and this smaller white ball? Anybody know any other differences? And again, if I'm not answering your comments, then I'm just not seeing it at this moment. They might be lagging. So just keep commenting and then maybe I'll get it at some point. Let me see if I could look online and then I can get it that way. Um, but I don't want to double cross this. I don't know. If I'm getting any comments, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going anyway. Um, so, when a player steps on home plate, what does that mean? Does anybody know what that signifies when a player steps on home plate? That means the other team, the team that stepped on home plate, scores a run. And does anybody know what a an RBI stands for? When a player's at bat and he gets a hit and then somebody on his team steps on home plate and scores. What does that, what is that called? It's called an RBI. What does that mean? Does anybody know? It runs batted in, it runs batted in. Again, I don't know if I'm getting any comments. Um, let me look online. I'm, again, don't, I still don't know how to use my computer for videos. Um, but I will figure it out at some point during this time. Um, all right. So, there is a, um, there is an American League and there is a National League. Usually the American League has this specific batter who bats for the pitcher. What are they called? Usually people call it a DH. Does anybody know what DH stands for? Oops. That's wrong. I'm just gonna give up on that. <laughs> oh man. Um Designated Hitter. So Designated Hitter is somebody that hits for the pitcher and in the American League usually, or you're playing the American League in their home turf. 
Um. Yes, designated hitter. Yes, I think I said. I think I said something else actually. <laughs> my my fault on that. Designated hitter. Um. What does it mean when a batter hits the ball and it goes up in the air? It goes very high up and all the fielders look up at it. What is that considered? And they catch it. What kind of play is that? When you hit it up in the air, it's considered a what? Usually it is a phrase that when... Uh, kettle explodes and it makes a noise it's considered something not a pop tart but close it does have pop in it it is a pop what pop tart does sound very yummy right now and i might have one after this actually um but in baseball, when you hit it up in the air, it's called a pop what? A pop-up. When you hit it in the air and you they catch it, a pop-up. Yes, pop-up, a fly-out. Exactly. It's not limited um, to one word or phrase. What is another word for a glove? What do people consider another word for a glove? And it starts with the letter M. Does anybody know? Anybody know what a glove stands for? Another word for it and it starts with an M. A mitt. We have a mitt, a glove and a mitt. Exactly. So, which is my favorite thing to have, a mitt. Um, let's see. So when there's pitchers that are pitching and we say ERA, when we say that this pitcher has a good ERA, is that <laughs> I gave away the answer. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say that if a pitcher has a low ERA, is that good or is that bad? We'll just go with it. We'll just ride with it. Pretend like I didn't give the answer away. When you have a pitcher with a low ERA, is that good or is that bad? Does anybody know? A low ERA. It's good, it's good to have a low ERA. Um, even though I gave the answer away. I'm sorry, everybody, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get better at doing that because I keep doing that. Um, let's see. When you hit it over the fence, when somebody goes at bat and they hit a really, really, really hard ball and it goes over the fence, what is that called? Does anybody know what kind of hit that is? And everybody who's on base scores, including the person that hit it. What is that hit called when you hit it over the fence? Does anybody know? Thanks, Lauren. Hey, Lauren, how are you doing? Sorry, I just got the comments now. I'm just getting some of the comments. Um, thank you, my uniform. Thank you, thank you. I got it before the whole thing happened at Models. <laughs> um, a 
home run, guys. It's a home run when you hit it over the fence. It is a home run. <laughs> what happens when you are on first base? You could be on second base. Or you could be on any of the bases, really. And the pitcher throws the ball, and then you run. And you just run to the next base. And the catcher could throw you out. The batter could hit it. What is that called when the runner, when the base runner goes from one base to another? What is that called? Usually they are just taking the next base a little bit early. Does anybody know what that's called? When one person takes the base. A steal. They steal the base. Ooh, I don't know if you guys hear the wind. I hope everyone's staying safe out there. Today is definitely movie weather. Or baseball weather. Not baseball weather. <laughs> but maybe watch old reruns of baseball because they've been playing a lot of it lately. Um, what position is in between the bases, third base and second base? They stand in between third and second. Does anybody know what position that's called? Because the second baseman stands in between first and second. So who stands in between second and third? Derek Jeter played this position. Shortstop. Shortstop. Which is very interesting. It's very interesting. Um, Let's see. How many outs are in one inning? Does anybody know how many outs are in one inning? I lost the comments again. So sorry, everybody, but keep commenting and it'll be shown, just not to me. So keep it up. Um, I don't remember what I just said. Where was I? Oh, how many outs are in one inning? Three. We have three outs in an inning. Well, in one half of an inning, so I guess technically, yeah. There are three outs that the pitcher needs to get the batter. The pitcher needs to get three outs. And speaking of pitchers, where do the pitchers go to warm up? It's, it's, they go into their own little section and they warm up during the game. What is that called? Does anybody know what that's called? That section that they go to to warm up their arms before they get to go and pitch for their team? They used to have a little cart that drove them from this area to the pitching mound. And I don't believe they do that anymore. Um, they usually run out there. Um, but back then, they definitely used to have a cart. I don't know if they still have a cart. If anybody knows if they still have a cart, that's also a good fun fact. Um, but uh, what is that called where the pitchers go to warm up? A bullpen, a bullpen. I wish they had a bullpen for every position. So you warm up your arm always and everything. Where is the Hall of Fame? It is in New York. So that is a hint where the Hall of Fame is at. Does anybody know? It's upstate to be exact. Um, and it starts with a C, if anybody 
remembers where this place is called. What this place is called. Where the Hall of Fame is for baseball. It's in New York, upstate, and it starts with a C. Does anybody know? It's in Cooperstown, Cooperstown, New York. We're very lucky. We're in New York right now. We're able to go there, and it's not in Arizona, where they are going to play their spring training now. Um, let's see. So when I batter hits the ball, where do they go? <laughs> where do they run to? They hit it, now what? Now what do they do? You hit it, you're looking around, where do I go? Where do I go? Which, which, where, which direction do they go? They go to first base. They hit it and they go to first base. And then after they go to second and third and then home, which is usually they refer to as the diamond. So that is why if you hear, oh, like play on the diamond, it's because it's for, it is for, yes, it is for um, bases and it looks like a diamond. Let's see. I don't know why I have to like look these up. <laughs> hmm. So when a batter is considered a cleanup hitter, where does he usually bat in the lineup? And a cleanup hitter usually consists of somebody who hits everybody in. So they consider it cleanup because if everybody before him gets on base, that he's going to come and clean up the bases and score everybody. So what number would they be in the lineup? Oh, wow, Lauren, I didn't know that. I'm going to have to check that out. It's it's close to the Glimmerglass Opera House? Nice. I never even heard of that. I feel very ashamed. When we get back to work, I definitely am going to ask you, and you could fill me in. I miss all of the new... Everything that you share with me, I miss it. I miss it so much. Um, so I can't wait to talk about that with you when we get back in um, after quarantine. So it's a cleanup hitter. What, what, where do they bat? Where do they bat in the lineup? So if we have the first batter get on base and we have the second batter go on base and the third batter go on base, somebody's on first, second, and third. So the only option now is the fourth batter. So a cleanup hitter is the fourth batter. And now this game is not baseball, but it is it is like the baseball of England. It's similar to baseball. What sport is this? It's not baseball, but what sport is this sport that is similar to baseball in England called. Usually they wear pads and they have a stick and they they hit it on a bounce and then they run and they run and they just keep running. Does anybody know what game sport this is considered? And it starts with a C. Does anybody know? Cricket!
cricket. It's cricket. The sport is cricket, which is definitely would be a very fascinating sport to try out. I would love when all this is over. I would love to uh, try cricket. If anybody's down to play cricket, that would be very fun, I think. Very interesting. Um, speaking of pads, um, what fielder, what player on the field wears a lot of pads? They wear headgear, they wear chest gear, they wear things on their shins so they don't get hurt, and they usually stand behind home plate, and they usually communicate with the pitcher and determine what pitch the pitcher is going to um, pitch and throw. So does anybody know what position this is called? Usually they catch the pitcher's ball. Does anybody know? A catcher, a catcher. Yeah, they usually wear all this gear and they're catching the pitcher's pitches. Very, very um, undervalued position in my opinion. Um, Mike Piazza. So what is a type of hit that doesn't go very far on purpose? It's a deliberate tap to the ball to make it not go very far. And it makes all of the runners, I mean, all of the fielders run in for it. What is this called? When they don't necessarily hit the ball, but they tap it in a way to try to get either on base as a hit or to sacrifice and move somebody over. Does anybody know what this is considered? It starts with a B. It's a four letter word and it starts with a B. A bunt, it's a bunt when you do it on your deliberate tap to the ball to get a hit or to move somebody over, whichever it is. Um, it's a very strategic aspect of the game that usually the coach will usually um, I lost track of my thought right there. This game's supposed to be working right now, and it's not for me. <laughs> I hope it is for you guys, though. I hope it's working for you guys. Let's see. When they do a stretch. Usually this happens in what inning? And they'll play music and they all, everyone gets up and they sing and they dance and they stretch. What inning usually does this occur? Out of the nine innings, it usually happens relatively towards the end-ish aspect of the game. Does anybody know what inning? They, everybody gets up and they move around and they stretch. The seventh inning, the seventh inning stretch. It's in the between when, the, in between the middle of the seventh inning, usually. We'll do a few more, we'll do a few more. I feel like uh, I'm missing baseball, I'm getting in the spirit. We get a few more in here. Let's see.
when a pitcher throws four bad pitches in a row. And when I say bad, I mean they're not strikes. So you get three strikes and you're out. And you get four balls that are not strikes. When you get four balls that aren't strikes, what does that consider? And you go to first base. I gotta do a football and basketball one too. Yeah, I would love to do a, a basketball and a football one. I will definitely do that one also. Thank you, Rich. It's a walk. You walk to first base. To get the game moving, you know, you should jog or as Brandon Nimmo does, run as fast as he can to first base. We'll do one more. I'm gonna find a good one. But this is a lot of pressure, so maybe it's not gonna be good, but we're gonna do one more. Hmm. What are these? What is a screwball, a changeup, a slider, and a sinker? What are all of these? Types of what? A screwball, a changeup, a slider, a sinker, a knuckleballer, knuckleball. <laughs> what are these all considered? Whoa, gravity's taking me all over the place. Sorry guys, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn off my light, not to scare anybody, that keeps happening. Um, there are types of pitches, there are types of pitches. Uh, so, baseball was fun, missing baseball right now, but I know that it's for the best, um, we all just wanna get better sooner rather than later and stay safe out there everybody and I hope everyone enjoyed this and I will do I will do a football and basketball or whatever other sports anybody wants I'll do that one too I feel like this was fun this is a very fun uh fun thing definitely because we can't watch sports right now we're all just re-watching sports uh at this moment and um and yeah, so stay safe out there. Again, uh, everybody keep your mind moving, exercise, do all of it. Um, stay safe.